In this lesson, we're going to write the last bit of JavaScript and test out all our code. If you're following along in the exercise files, we're looking at Ajax, chapter 05, slash 06, slash script.js. The one last bit of code we need to write is the one that's triggered when the user clicks on one of the pop-up options. So we're down here in Make Choice, and we're passing it in EVT. First thing we want to do is set up a new variable called this div so we can check to see what div it is. And we want to say, as we have previously with event, does it exist? If it does, then we'll set this div to event.target. Otherwise, it's sent to element. In either case, that's going to be the name of the state itself. So given that we have the name of the state itself, what we want to do is the same thing we did in these three lines here. So let's make life easy on ourselves, and we'll just copy that and paste it here. Get rid of some of that indentation. So search field dot value in this case will be set to this div dot inner HTML, or we're resetting search field to be the name of the state that they clicked on. And then we clear out the pop-ups in our HTML, which gets rid of all the options because they've selected one. So let's go try it out. We need to save this file, then go back to our HTML file and preview it. Here we are. And we try typing in some options. For instance, here's New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, and New York. Clicked on it, and there it was. Now, if we delete that, we type in, say, E, it will immediately come up yellow because there are no states that start with E. If we delete it, it goes back to white. Another thing we need to check is, for instance, what happens when you enter in enough of a state that it should know what to do. In this case, we did. It came up with Kansas. Kansas is also useful as a test for this one because we want to make sure that Arkansas does not also come up. So again, here's all our different possibilities. and click on one, and it works. So, so far, this is looking pretty good. In our next lesson, we're going to see how to take what we've got and extend it and make it a little more useful.